We're ready to get this one underway as the teams are lined up for the opening kick. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Good throw incomplete one of his receiver. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 25. playing catch out there. Brought down at the 42-yard line. And the halfback's got nowhere to go. This linebacker's had a couple years of experience, and he's really solidified himself as a reliable tackler, as you can see from that last stop. He throws right. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. the stop at the 40-yard line. They couldn't get back to the line of scrimmage on that one. Well, I don't think they did a very good job of selling the pass. The defense was able to read the play and come right in there and make a nice stop. Second down and 11. Ball on the 40. Ready! 180! Now he tries to buy some time. And he's tackled in the open field. A little toss across the middle. He's tackled around the 37-yard line. That screen play gets him a yard at the most. It's a nice play by the defense to shut down all the lanes, so this halfback wasn't able to make anything happen on that play. South Alabama could take the lead with this field goal. It's up, looks long enough, and he splits the uprights. They line up to kick this one away. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. The volunteers in talking with them this week, Kirk, is just interesting, their perspective on this kid, how good he is, and how much they can lean on him. Yeah, you and I had a chance to visit with not only the coaches, but the player himself. And I got a real good vibe walking out of those meetings and, and thinking that he's going to have a huge game. The coaches seem confident in being able to get him the football in different areas on the field. This kid has a look in his eye that I haven't seen in a long time where he just wants to have a chance to have an impact on the game and on the outcome. And I, I'd be shocked if they can slow him down. They run it left. He gets out to about the 32-yard line. the 45. He made a really good move at the line of scrimmage. Sometimes all you need to do is throw off the defender's timing just a little bit at the start of the play. Runs it and tackled in the backfield. From their own 43-yard line, it's second down. Slings it. And he's tackled right around the 36-yard line. Throws it to the outside. Huge gain, and that sets him up nicely with a first and goal. Big gain there for the first down. There was some miscommunication down there by the defense that allowed for that big gain. Mike's 50, Mike's 50. Kill, kill, kill. And he makes. 
brings it out to about the five yard line. Touchdown, Volunteers. And he converts the extra point. A nine-play, 75-yard drive. And the result, seven points. So our score, 7-3. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. And while they are behind, they know they can knot things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Set. Ken Boston. Ken Boston. He scrambled. He's into the open field. And down he goes, around the 34-yard line. And he's tackled after positive yardage. This one away. From their own 40-yard line. It's second down. Watch two, watch two. Hey, let's get that ball, Dean. Check, check, right check. Here. Thunder. Looks for his running back incomplete. Number 29, the intended receiver of the play. That brings us third and ten. Three down. Hey, check Mike Let's go. Pressure got to him, and it's picked off. And he's taken down around the 45-yard line. Oh, boy. I bet he knew as soon as he released that football that he shouldn't have made the throw. And that's the thing. When you're under that kind of pressure, it takes away that one split second you need to scan the area so you know where it's a safe throw. It's first and ten. Ball on the 45-yard line. Tennessee is up by four. He fights forward to about the 43. Two-yard gain on the quarterback keeper. That's the senior safety that made that tackle. Great job of providing run support from the secondary. On the delay, and he's brought down immediately. He's looking for six. Picked off. I really like this corner's ability to read the play. He shows very good football smarts and pretty good hands, too. From their own 20-yard line, first down. Makes it to the 37. hit and taken down. Coverage perfectly to find his man for good yardage. Caught out in the open. That brings 
of second and 13. So it's second and 13. Ball on the 25. Let's go! Green 90! Green 90! Throws into coverage, just picked off. Has some daylight. And they push him out at the 46-yard line. Big play there by the defense. That's their second pick of the half. Yeah, this offense has to stop making mistakes. These turnovers are putting pressure on their defense to make stops, and it's hard to win when you're always giving the ball away. From their own 46-yard line, it's first down. Tennessee holds a four-point lead. Complete brought down, nothing doing. Number 15 on the tackle at the 49 yard line. That makes it second and six. After one, this game's still pretty close. 7 3, Tennessee. And we welcome you back to the action here, and we have got a tight one going on in quarter number two. out to his receiver. They'll bring him down at the 38. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. Well, they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. Tackle made at the 39. The lineman had a big push there to get in the backfield and bring him down. And once he gets moving, there's no stopping him. This guy is so big and strong that he's almost impossible to block with one guy. So it's second and 12. Ball on the 39-yard line. Black ball! Tackle at the 33. Quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. Number six was his intended receiver on the play. That'll make it fourth and six. It's up and it's good. all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. And they can forget about returning this one. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. He gets out to about the 37-yard line. He really showed some good speed there. I'll tell you, no question. When you talk about being able to turn on the Jets and leave everybody in the dust, you have to mention this young man. He's got skills, but his speed is what the pro scouts are drooling about. He makes it out to maybe the 39-yard line. it out to maybe the 40-yard line. And he is drilled at the 33-yard line. The defenders played the snap count perfectly. They found the path into the backfield and didn't let the quarterback get away. Excellent punt. Tackle made at the 30-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Tennessee is up a score. 
scrambling around. Second down, about 12 yards to go. Ball on the 28-yard line. And he's hit hard immediately. And he's sacked. They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. And that'll be three and out. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. He's tackled at the 37. Right, everywhere we go when we travel over the country, people want to talk about offense. Oh, the spread, or the pistol, and hurry up tempo offense and points it's nice to watch a team that prides itself on playing great defense and when it's all said and done the teams that advance and get to the important bowl games and do well in the postseason are teams that have this kind of defense they go to the left for a nice game And that was almost big. Hey, that's a heads up play there by the defender. Get those hands up, and something good may just happen. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. And they're not going to get it. Great stop. Nice defensive stand there. And some good play calling defensively. They always had someone in the right spot to make a play and force the three and out. He punts. No, he won't. From their own 48-yard line. First down. He gets rid of this one. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. him hard at the 43. Let's see if they can keep the drive alive here. It's on the ground. Defense says they've got it, and they do. They work hard, and they got the turnover. Well, this is what it's all about. Defense taking advantage of an opportunity. They're pouncing on the loose ball. this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Tennessee up seven points. And he's going to come up with a sack. You can't take sacks like that as a quarterback. You just can't. If you can't find a receiver, get out of the pocket and throw the ball away. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. Now he's scrambling. Slides down to the ground. The sub package in there defensively in this five wide receiver set. With the pass incomplete. The ball just sailed on him and he knows it. He'll get it next time. Shoot. 
He punts it away, and it's a great kick. Gets to about the 24-yard line. Right now, this game's got all the makings of maybe being a nail biter. Yeah, this game just feels like it's going to go well into the second half, probably into the fourth quarter. You almost have a feel that maybe one of the defenses may have to score a touchdown to be able to win this game. A fumble really hurt this team's last drive, so let's see if they can make up for that blunder on this drive. The last possession didn't go in the favor for this offense. I'd expect to see them come out and be a little bit more conservative with some safe play calling in order to avoid another bad result. From their own 46 yard line, first down. He's going to try and scramble. And now he's got room to run. Decides to slide. They'll get the first down. He made the correct decision to tuck it and go. South Alabama is going to use their first time out of the half here. Quick throw. Looking for six, and he got it. Touchdown. Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. And he tacks on the extra point. A short three play, 77 yard drive, and it's good for seven points. Well, Brad, right now this offense is hot, and they also took advantage of some mistakes there by the defense. South Alabama is lining up to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. They just took what the defense gave them on that play. Yeah, you're right. That was a good job of getting that pass completed for positive yardage. They're about four yards away here on second down. Throws in the middle. They'll drop in for a loss. Great concentration to haul it in. And they make the stop at the 13-yard line. We played a half of football and a 10-10 tie in this game. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. These two defenses so far, they've been everything they've been advertised to be. They've stopped the run, they've limited the passing game, they apply pressure at the right time. It's going to be hard to find holes to move the ball at all in the second half. Yeah, and sometimes it's really bad offense, and sometimes you can also look at those holes and they come open and all of a sudden they close really fast, and, and that's what you're seeing. A lot of guys that are really athletic, really fast. They know where to be. A lot of guys that you'll be seeing playing on Sundays. I mean, it's just a lot of talent to overcome, and you got to be in the right position. But then you got to beat those great players that are also in the right position. So I, I expect more of the same. But you know, which team can break through and make a huge play to, to take the other one, you know, off guard a little bit and make that big play? Just about set to start the second half. What are you looking for? I, I'm looking to see which team has that decided schematical advantage. And if they can find it, they'll blow holes three or four axe handles wide. Brad and Kirk will be there to call the second half. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set for the second half. Nice kick, plenty of distance. You don't want to squander any possessions, but maybe now's the right time to dip into your bag of tricks a little. Think about some gadget plays to catch the defense napping. And a quick throw. And he's tackled at about the 45. Nine. 
He's at the 30, catches it. He's tackled at the 26. That's a team on the team. First down. Mike 50, Mike 50. Black five, black. Zips it to the tight end. Brought down at the 15 yard line. The defenders are really going to have to get their heads into this game. That was a big play, and I'm first down, no less. And down he goes at about the 13. So the quarterback keeps it for two yards. Taken down at the 17. Just nowhere for the ball carrier to go as the linebacker met him in the backfield. Boy, what great play recognition by this linebacker. He saw the run was coming, and he just shot through the gap and made a great tackle. We've got third and 12. Ball on the 17-yard line. That's a great tackle at the 7. Tennessee is looking to go up by three. He gets it up, and it sails through the uprights. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding him to a field goal right there. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. He's taken down at the 36-yard line. Second and ten. Ball on the 36-yard line. Hey, check Mike 45. Check Mike 45. Let's go. 180. Wide. 80. Hot. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. They'll bring him down around the 43-yard line. He's gobbled up in the backfield. If this offense keeps running at this guy, they're going to have to rethink some of their play calls. They're stacking the line. It looks like they're coming after this punt. Heading for the corner. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. The Jaguars not going to back down from anybody, Herbie. I guess at least not today. No, not today. They've played with a chip on their shoulder. They've stood toe-to-toe -to -toe with the big boys, and I don't think they're finished yet. Last drive resulted in a field goal, and the offense will come back out looking to do one better. Tennessee holds a field goal lead. Gets out to around the 45. First down. Rose, and that one's going to hit the ground incomplete. From their own 45 yard line. Second down. made at the 46-yard line. Close to a nine-yard pickup there on the slam. He's at the 30. Gains his way to the 23-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Hey, Kelsey! 
kill K9. Black. He scrambled. He lets it go. It's going the other way. He telegraphed that throw. He eyed his receiver the whole way. That was an easy read by the defense. First and ten. Ball on the 21. That's a good question. I thought for a while he got his directions messed up. That brings up third and ten. Third down, ten yards to go. Ball on the 21-yard line. Throws incomplete, intended for his wideouts. That's going to bring up fourth down. Great hold by the defense. They were expecting the pass play, and they defended it very well. And this one is a beauty. He makes it to the 42-yard line. The offense comes out to start this drive, and they're hoping for a better result as they threw a pick on their last possession. The first rule on offense is to take care of the football. These guys need to remember that on this drive. Sips it to the back. Tennessee is up by three. And they got him for a loss. The thing about the option is you're going to have some negative play. But if you keep running it, it'll create some big play opportunity. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 48. Catch first down and he's knocked down. Gain of 12 yards. First down. Roger, Roger. 87's getting the ball. 87's getting the ball. Watch the run. No, Here he goes. Makes it out to about the 29. That's good for the 18 yards. Here we go, D. Get off the field. That makes it first and ten. ten. Check Black time, Black. And he is drilled. The 26-yard line. That'll make it second and one. Defense looking for another sack in the second down and long situation. Mike is at 15. Check Mike 15. Let's go, tight end. Let's go right here now. Go. Go. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. Gain of 18 yards. That makes it first and goal. Tennessee is up a field goal. They got to him before he could get back to the line. That brings him second and goal. Watch the screen, watch the screen. Watch the screen. Go, four. go. Yellow. Go. Into the tailback, and he's met in the backfield. Man, did he play that perfectly or what? As a linebacker, you have to be able to read the offense and make the quick diagnosis, which is exactly what he did on that play. Lack of offense or great defense, call it what you will. We head to the fourth quarter. 13-10, 
Volunteer. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. He's got it with room to run. Touchdown, Tennessee! He makes the PAT. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. They're ready to begin another drive. He tackles him for a loss. That'll bring up It's third down, eight to go. Ball on their own 27. It's away, and it's a booming punt. And down he goes at the 37. The volunteer staff has got to be ecstatic. Whether it's chess or checkers, they're playing out there today. They're winning. Well, this defensive staff trying to slow down this offense came in with a mindset of stopping the running game, first and foremost. And unfortunately for this defense, they've lost a battle out on the perimeter. And right now, they're giving up too many big plays through the air. Makes the catch, and he's got nowhere to go. First down, and he's knocked out of bounds. That's a game of 12 on the play. First down. Mike, Mike, he's coming, he's coming. Check in. So we got man, man, man. They'll knock him down for a loss. That'll bring up second and 12. From their own 48 yard line. Second down. it out to maybe the 49-yard line. And he's sacked. Absolutely perfect call by the defensive coordinator. He brought just the right amount of pressure from the right direction, and it seemed to confuse the offense. After the sack, it's now fourth and long. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. He's tackled with the 19-yard line. And here we go with the offense, ready to get things going again. Just under three to go in regulation. And they get the sack. Boy, this pass rush is sometimes scary. They're really getting after the quarterback now. That'll make it second and one. Hey. 
So the sack makes this a second and long. scrambling he keeps it he gets hit out of bounds at the 20 and he's immediately tackled and it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down it out to about the 40. And they make the stop around the 44 yard line. game can be very effective if you don't get enough pressure on the quarterback. They use their personnel well and can be very tough to defend. From the 37-yard line, first down. Just under two minutes in the game. Pulls it in and he's in the open field. And a huge touchdown play. Trying to get within a field goal. They'll try to point after. It's on the extra point. Taken down at the 44-yard line. This might be it. They've got the lead, but if they add to it, they know they've got a victory. Makes it out to about the 36. A gain of eight on the carry. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. And he's tackled right around the 26-yard line. I think the defense put everything into that sequence of plays. And for the offense to come up with a first down really is demoralizing for the defense. And he's level at the 10. Huge first down right there by the offense, Brad. At this point, they're just trying to work the clock and preserve the victory. Touchdown, Volunteers. The Volunteers are so confident every time they hand this kid the football that he's going to do something special. Well, there's a reason he's the go-to man. And, and here, with everything at stake, he's able to deliver for them in a big way. And he converts the extra point. A four-play, 44-yard drive. And they come away with a touchdown. So our score, 27-17. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. Well, this one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Well, the offense heading back out onto the field after that kick, hoping to turn this drive into another touchdown. Great passing was the key for the offense the last time they had the ball. They were able to pick apart the defense and get down the field for a touchdown. There's a strike complete. Right down at the 48-yard line. A little over a minute in the game. Quick pass intercepted. And he tackles him hard at the 41 yard line. Oh, that was one dejected quarterback. That interception is going to seal this game. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 41 yard line. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. He'll go down to one knee. <laughs> he 
He's taken down around the 49-yard line. And this one's all but wrapped up with the final score, 27-17, Volunteer.